Working Fans Podcast. Cool. Yep. All right, here we go. Coming down three, two. Welcome back for another week of the Working Fans Podcast. This is AJ. I'm the former wrestler. We've got Dave, the ultimate fan, here with us. As we do every week, our producer, Joe, may likes to make us sound good and makes us look way more professional than we actually are. As always, you can find us on Twitter. That's at Fans Working. Facebook, Working Fans Pod. We've got email where you can reach out to us and please contact us to let us know what you think of the podcast and for any ideas that you might have. That's WorkingFansWrestlingPod at gmail.com. We're on Instagram where you can keep up with us at WorkingFansWrestling underscore pod. And then you can now listen to us on all major platforms including Anchor.fm. We're on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, Overcast, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Apple Podcasts, and you can actually check us out on YouTube. Now, it's important when you go onto the Apple Podcasts and YouTube, hit that subscribe button, give us a rating, let us know what you think so you can help us out, and we can continue to do what we love and bring you guys in as fans. Uh, now that we've answered the fans, we got to answer the pressing question of the 531, where we bring our top five list together, debate it down to a top three. From that top three, we discover a top one. This week, we are talking the strongest wrestlers out there. And who brought us this? Who brought us this list? This was actually kind of something we worked on together, me and AJ. Okay. We do have... This week's list is strongest wrestlers. Yeah. And we got some guest lists coming yes. in. We're going to start with Randy, our number one fan. He put Mark Henry, yep. John Cena... Scott Steiner, Bill Goldberg, and the British Bulldog. It's a strong list. Who else we got for a Very guest? Very good week? list. AJ, he wrote in this week because he's not here live in studio. And he put Scott Norton, Brock Lesnar, John Cena, mm. Tony Atlas, surprising, yeah. and Cesaro. Tony Atlas is a great name from the past. I didn't even think about Tony. But Tony actually was known for uh, press slamming Hulk Hogan. Like extended yeah. the arms and press slammed him. That's a feat. Now, uh, Sheaf yes. had Brock Lesnar, Scott Norton, Ooh. Scott Steiner, Cesaro, and Ken Patera. Ken Patera, I another the great name. I love yeah. the older names popping up. Yeah, old weightlifter, uh, known for doing strongman things. Actually, there was a segment on TV where I think there was a truck that was like, you know, they had started, and Ken was pushing it back with his knees up against the wall. So Ken is like up against the wall, and he's pushing back a moving vehicle. Wow. Yeah, very strong guy. I don't know if the segment was work, but Patera's got weightlifting records. <laughs> we got Jesse from New Hampshire, <laughs> solid on the list that he always sends us. He put Cesaro, Scott Norton, Mark Henry, Andre the Giant, well, and Vader. That was a very good list. You know, pound for pound is something I was saying too with this too. So Pound for pound. I find with these lists we always put out a topic. Yeah. And then the way that different people read it, you almost get different answers. But I always say like there's no wrong answer right. as long as you can defend it. Right. Now my list, since me and Dave don't know each other's list. Yeah. I'll go first, man. Sure. I got Mark Henry. Mm -hmm. I got John Cena. I got Cesaro. Yeah. I went Dr. Death Steve Williams for a little bit of an old school feel. Sure. And to bring it into the modern day, Harry Smith. It's a good list. It's a good list. Solid list. I... We're all all over the place, but Dave, where does your list fall this week? Mark Henry makes my list as well. How do you not include the world's strongest man? By the way, side note about Mark Henry. Mark was kind of this wrestler who never really made it, for the most part, for a while in his career. Kind of a comedy act. They'd put different things in him. And then he started the Hall of Pain gimmick. And I went to a period in my life when I got older where I generally wasn't into characters anymore. It was only into technical wrestling. Mark Henry's Hall of Pain gimmick was so good. He got me back into like promos and intensity. Because like it wasn't like Mark was putting on classics, but when Mark would fucking pick up the big show, walk around with him, power slam him through a table, and then say, that's what I do. <laughs> you know, like, I'm sold. I bought in. It's real. Love that. One guy who hasn't made anybody else's list, but I thought about it, Braun Strowman. Legit tough guy, legit strongman competition, 
And I think is actually stronger than what he's shown a lot of times. Like, I think he could probably do more. I don't think he's playing that character. Unless it's cartoonish and he's tipping over 18-wheeler trucks, which we don't really believe. I, I think they heard it. They've yeah. been building up that giant thing. I think they've played into the strongman thing with the tipping over the car. In a cartoonish way, but I mean, that's the WWE. Right. So, at least they're putting over that. Spec. I mean, he's super plucked the, the Big Show. And I know Big Show probably had to help with that. But we're at a stage in his career where Big Show ain't moving around as yeah, well either. Yeah, that's true. So, it's, you know, that's something to think about. They broke the ring. That was probably kayfabe. But he still had to muscle that big bastard up. Zazara. When you take into pound for pound consideration too, here's the guy who's not as big as a lot of the other guys on our list. He's not a small guy, but he's not as big as some of these other guys were mentioning. But boy, we're talking about a guy who could take Great Kali and swing him around in a giant swing. Super impressive. Somebody that Cena trains with too. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, uh, Cena. She didn't make my list, but he was definitely a guy. Him, Scott Steiner. And the British Bulldog were all guys I debated putting on my list. Yeah. Super, all of them super strong. Uh, Bill Goldberg was a guy I ended up putting on my list out of that group because Bill, you know, again, a lot of these guys, it's like, what did I see them do to the giant? What did I see them do to the big show? Like, if I see you taking the big show and you're giving him an F5 or you're giving him a superplex or you're picking up the big show with a power slam, super impressive. One thing I'll never forget was I was watching Monday Night Raw one time and I saw Big Show pick up Mark Henry for a power slam, but it was the way he did it. He literally picked Mark Henry up and just tossed him. Like, tossed him up in the air and caught him like in a power slam and then took him down. I've never seen anybody pick up Mark Henry that easy before. I don't know if Bill's the strongest guy, but boy, he looked like it that night. Yeah. And the other guy I had to put on my list just because I never saw anybody toss around Big Show this much the way he did in a match with Brock Lesnar. I've seen people throw him around, but Lesnar, the way he was like giving him F5s, German suplexes, and belly to belly suplexes back in the day, that is just one strong customer. And again, all these guys have different things going for them, too. Yeah. Now that we got all the lists in, we got Cesaro made here. almost everybody's list. So we're going to invoke the AJ rule, and he's just going to be up and out because he's huh. the obvious choice. Yeah, when you take him pound for pound, too, yes. gets him his size. Yeah. Mark Henry made huh. a few lists, so I'm going to put him up there. All right. Let me see what else we got. Cena. <laughs> Cena made a few. He made a few. Let's put it up between Cena and Scott Steiner. If you had to give it to one of those two... Who are you more leaning towards? Again, this is strength. I want to point that out for anybody listening. If this was who was the toughest guy, not that Cena's a pussy, but my money would be on the amateur collegiate wrestler, Scott yeah. Steiner. But when you're talking about pure power, I watched one of those uh, Dinner for Three segments or Table for Three segments that he puts down. Yeah. And it was Big Show, Mark Henry, and Kane. And Big Show mentioned that John Cena, uh, when it came to picking him up, was one of the guys who he felt most comfortable picking him up because he would just walk around with such ease. So I would say Cena is the strongest of the two. See, I almost want to give it to Steiner because he's still doing like the Frankensteiner, still doing a lot of moves. He does have that collegiate background. But when you think about Cena, putting out big matches to this day, still picking up these guys. Plus it's strength. I mean, excuse me. I mean, we're talking basically like powerlifting and stuff like that. Yep, and I and feel he, like Cena's just a power guy. He does train with Cesaro, so that's an easy move. Yeah. Uh, who final makes the list? Because who else? We, we have several people made We got made Scott list. Norton that's on a couple lists here. Yeah. Scott Norton. Uh, Lesnar made the list a few times too, did he? Okay, let's put it down between Lesnar, yeah. Norton, and Goldberg. Because I'd say they made about an equal amount of lists. Okay, so Lesnar, Norton, and Goldberg. Whew. Again, if this was just who's the toughest guy, my money would be on Brock Lesnar, all right, the former UFC heavyweight champion. Yeah. Boy, we're talking about just who can lift the most weight there and throw people around. Uh, that's a tough one, man, because you're this talking about one? an NFL player, you're talking about a guy who was a legitimate arm wrestling champion and thick as fuck. I would have to give it to Scott Norton in this because if you're matching up Norton... Goldberg and Lesnar. To me, it almost seems like a one-two tie between Lesnar and Norton. And then Goldberg is a close number three, but he's definitely... I wouldn't put him on that same level. And I think Norton just inches out Lesnar. Just, he, I mean, he spent more time in Japan. I think if <clears throat> Lesnar had stayed with New Japan longer and got more of that style in, you could make a case for him in this. But to me, it's Scott Norton. You know what? At the end of the day, I think they're all pretty much the same. So for if you if you feel Norton, 
I'll go with Norton to move him on because to me, I mean, I'm not strong as anything. So because I'm picking one person over another, yeah. I'm not an expert. I mean, I I've just been watching these guys, and yeah. to me, Scott Norton brings a little something different that Brock Lesnar does that I like. Right. So we so got Scott Norton. We're down to our top three, and that's Scott Norton, John Cena, Mark Henry. Oh, yeah. And it's it's weird that we just made such a case for Norton to go past Lesnar, but to me, I feel like he's the first one to come off this list. Yeah, especially when you consider the pound for pound, too. Like, it, Cena isn't as big as Norton, but I think he could toss around just as much weight. Yes. And, and so it, let's eliminate Norton. Yeah, and it really comes down to Cena and Henry, and this is tough because... Mark Henry's been branded the world's strongest man. I yeah. believe he's got the gold medals, right? He does not have the gold medals. Or he has uh, some kind of medals. He has some right? gold medals. He has some, well, he didn't medal in the Olympics. I want to clarify that. He qualified for the Olympics. Yeah, he qualified yeah. for the Olympics. And then he had a back injury in there, and he ended up, he was eliminated early because of his back injury. I could be wrong about that, but there is some story behind that. Boy, he but Mark has a ton of, like, world lifting power records and Pan Am game medals. And Mark also, even as recently as in the last few years, made a comeback and won the World's Strongest Man competition. So there's a story behind that too where basically uh, before the actually before the Hall of Pain gimmick I was talking about, he told Vince that he wanted to go do this world's strongest man gimmick and he wanted to compete because there were people saying that Mark was all show in the, the strongman competition, that Mark was basically a phony and he couldn't actually hang. So Mark wanted to go prove them wrong because it was important to him. And Vince told Mark that that's fine, I'll let you do this, but you better win because there's no room for the second strongest man in my company. And, well, maybe that little fire to Mark Henry's ass, but Mark won. So at, at the end of the day, to me, man, you could argue, like, who's the most successful wrestler, but when it comes to the strongest man in the biz, that's Mark Henry. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to give it to Mark Henry, too, because, I mean, Cena might be up there with the amount of weight they can lift and what they can do. Yeah. But when you go to the levels that Mark Henry has and, like, that story you just told, told going back yeah. and re, like, affirming yourself, proving it, I think there's only one choice. That's what, do you, that's what we do. I think there's only one choice. So yeah, it's Mark Henry, baby. Mark Henry is coming off this week as the strongest wrestler. We want to thank Randy for his list, AJ for getting in his list, Sheaf as always, and Jesse from New Hampshire. <laughs> and next week, we'll be talking Wrestle Kingdom. We've got a big Ricky Morton interview, which I'm very excited about. Sorry if we're letting the cat out of the bag now. But guys, thanks for joining us again, and we'll talk to you again next week. Have a good one. Because that's what we do. Guys, thank you for listening to the 531 here on YouTube this week. If you like what you hear, you can always find us on Anchor FM, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, Overcast, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, and on the Apple Podcast where you can subscribe and also give us a five-star rating. We appreciate you listening. We want your feedback, 531, and if you agree with us, if you disagree with us, we also want you to let us know and let us know what your 531 would be. Come up with a top five and let us know and we'll tell you why you're wrong. And in order for us to do that, please contact us on Twitter, we're at Fans Working, Facebook page, Working Fans Wrestling Pod, email Working Fans Wrestling Pod at gmail.com. It's very important that you actually contact us on these platforms because we want this to be your interactive place to talk wrestling.